Okay, guys. So, um, I told you that I had started um, getting these compostable bags and some green bins uh, for work and for home. These, these are the plastic bags. Okay, they're not really plastical. Plastical? Wow, made up a word. Awesome. But they are... I don't know how well you can see that, but it's UNNI, 100% compostable, um, plastic-ish bag. So this is what I've been collecting the stuff from work and from my own kitchen. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed my experimental bins, the normal gruel, which is the blended coffee, etc. Um, but then I'm going to start feeding up my new bins with the non-processed, non-frozen food as well. Uh, so we're going to kind of split the difference. Um, so that's what that's going to happen. This over here is the coffee filters, ends of the banana peels. Um, it will be like the grape, all of the really high carbon stuff that seems to last forever in a bin. I'm going to put that in with the African night crawlers and uh, see what they do. I also want to see how long it takes this um, compostable plastic bag, which it doesn't actually say what it's made out of. But uh, whatever it is, we're going to see how long it takes to compost. And do the worms find it palatable? I think it's kind of stupid to throw a compostable bag away in the garbage well, we'll where it will live in the uh, landfill forever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going to turn you off and put you back on in a second. I haven't done a video on this one yet. This is my 55-gallon drum. And so as you can see here, it is almost full, but that is kind of was my original design before I started. There, there's a little dirt factor in there. Um, I have put worms in here. Every time I, I kind of get a, an excess of things, as far as, you know, like the worms seem to be overrunning a bin, I will just chuck a handful of them in here. I started out with probably a couple, I don't know, a couple hundred red wigglers, Europeans, etc. Um, and lately, basically what I've been doing is I've been putting the floor sweepings in here. Um, so every time I, I make a mess and leaves, paper, cardboard, whatever, um, I didn't want to take the chance that there was cocoons in it and screw up any of my other bins. And so whatever it is, it ends up in here. And oddly enough, they've been doing really good. I mean, this was, I mean, these aren't the African night crawlers. I have not purposely put any of them in here, but they're all doing pretty good. Um, it's got um, holes that I put all the way around and put mesh on them. Plus I also, I flip this around. I have my outside rake that I this thing here, I know, super scary looking, but I'm very, very, you know, gentle with it when I'm moving things around. And uh, so even though I did put full on leaves in here, I mean, there's some, still some stuff in here that's not broken up, but for the most part, these guys are holding their own with any of the bins that I'm purposely trying to achieve something with. This is kind of my garbage bin, if you will. Um, so what I'm going to do is this is where I'm going to start putting some of the unprocessed, unfrozen food. It is, it is a way bigger, you know, it's 55 gallons, so it's way bigger. And um, so I'm thinking they're, they're going to be able to handle it. Uh, it should be entertaining when I have to flip this over and try and harvest it this summer. Which, of course, I will bring you along for. Alright, so hold on, let me get the uh, vegetables and whatnot. Okay, so here we are with my other compostable bag and got some turnips and 
celery and onions and potatoes and probably a banana peel in there. So I'm just gonna grab up some of my eggshell. Make sure that's pretty well in there and then I'm gonna half pour that out. Make sure that the compostable bag is in contact with the dirt. Put some more eggshell on top of that, whatever mess. And then I'm going to bury that. I'm not going to put any bedding, any more bedding or anything in there. They, uh, they've got quite a bit in there. So uh, we'll start keeping an eye on that and uh, I'm going to start doing what everybody else does and quit pureeing all their food. They're not baby worms. They're a functioning ecological community. I need to stop babying them. All right. Well, I would like you to like this video if you think this is interesting or if you would like to follow this along and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, it's not all about worms. I occasionally do other things. And when the weather gets warmer, I imagine that I will be doing a lot of other things. Okay. Well, I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms.